I can tell you an interesting story. I've never said this online. Hello, hello. Today is a very exciting video. We're going somewhere very, very well known with a very well known face. But before we do that, this video today was brought to you with Squarespace. If you're ever thinking of building a website, Squarespace is the perfect place to go and do just that. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, loads of us have thought of setting up a website. Not many of us do, but more of you should. And you should definitely use Squarespace when you do because there's loads of tools enabling you to build that beautiful site like that dream website, be it a passion project or a business with ease, allowing you to build something that's beautiful and also very, very effective. They've got loads of amazing templates on there so you can just build something beautiful super simply straight away. They've got SEO tools on there. You can build a mobile optimized site super simply as well. You can build members areas. You can do email campaigns. Everything is set out in a super legible, easy, logical, fantastic way. Make sure you head over to Squarespace and use my code right there on the screen. It'll save you some money when you do create a website and I look forward to see what you all do. But for now, let's head over and start this video. Let's go. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV, or more specifically, should I say hello one and all? I'm not, what, what is it? What do you say? Hi, guys. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV, or more specifically, should I say hi, guys, I'm TG, because today, did I nail it? You did nail it. Perfect. Today, I'm at the Schmuseum with... Welcome. No, 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 <laughs> Mr. Schmee 150. This <laughs> is the first video we filmed in years. We were trying to work this out. I think the last time we were actively together in a video was a pista in Ikea. When I took your pista to Ikea. So we'll overlay some footage of that. Don't sue me for copyright. Uh, but that was 2019. Since so. then, I bought a Ferrari in the same blue. There we go. Influencer. It yes, you did. So, today, we're going to have a little look around. I brought something very silly to see whether or not it fits in here. And it does. It's through there. Yeah, it's through behind here. We're going to get into that. And I'm going to treat you guys and girls to a guided tour. No doubt you've all seen this, but it's a churn for me. So here we go. Uh, make sure you click the link at the start of the video. So, we're going to get the magic button. Hold on. We're going to wait for it to focus as uh, the camera's. Okay. You can, Three. Either, you can either talk to it or, you ready? Can I do it? Yeah. What do I say? Oh, I'll do it when you say it. Can't say. Okay, go on, you do it. <laughs> Three, two, one. That is <laughs> absolute chaos. It's that, really cool. That's um, mental. Absolute. This is from a company called ESG. I actually saw ESG. this. I'm sure you've seen it in the London showrooms, like HRM and Ferrari, Rockton yep. Road. Yep. They do that, the privacy in their handover bays. Oh. And we've got what we call the Halo Bay, where we have the F1 show car, but eventually this whole glass can become a screen so we can project onto it. Wow. I can sit here watching an F1 race with that right behind. That Chemical. is absolutely Chemical. nuts. That's um, chaos, isn't it? That's chaos. It is chaos. Yeah. He's learning. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. You'll just say it for everything. With this beast, I have. You have brought along. I'm a little bit jealous because I don't have a G-Wagon anymore. And you've brought this up. Are you actually jealous? Be, be honest, and you can be abusive on this chat. I mean, look at the size of it. You're not, you're not a small chap. You're a very tall chap. And that is huge. This thing, yes. I, I, mean, I, I don't think <laughs> I've ever driven the original 4x4 squared, but it's very floaty and all over the place, right? You turn and then you wait yeah. for it. Yeah, it's all the problems and issues with the standard G-Wagon um, are, yeah, are, are no, magnified. No. But it's an experience. And like with you, you've driven everything under the sun. There's not many things you get in where you think, this is a new experience, this is different, this is exciting, and it's actually something new. And again, I could have turned up here in pretty much any of my cars, you would have seen a million of them before, but I guarantee you've probably only seen a couple 4x4 squared If you came Brabus. here with a Carrera GT, you wouldn't be the first. Nope. If you'd come here with a Pista, you wouldn't have been the first. If you'd come here with, I don't even know what else is in the garage right now, but pretty Who knows at this point? you wouldn't have been the first. Um, but welcome. Thank you very much. That is the grandstand. So I like driving on racetracks. I spend a lot of time at the Nürburgring. That's supposed to feel like your hospitality boxes with the railings, like you're up in the grandstands at a race circuit. Yep. Unsurprisingly, looking over the track. That's ridiculous in there. Okay, we painted this floor and mastered it all out, painted it. We've got the like chippings in the literally to look like tarmac, but obviously easily cleaned and cleanable. It's That's like, ridiculous. This for me is like garage dreams. I, I was able with this space, and we're not quite finished, but we've made some nice progress, to be like, I want the coolest place to house the cars, to film some videos, yeah. to invite people to come and visit. And I guess it's, it's, it's literally a dream right now. It's literally a dream. So we've got the seven bed pack auto stacker lifts. When these are like fully loaded and you have the complete wall of cars, it looks so cool. 
Yeah, I've seen it on Instagram, I think, but it's, it's actually nuts. Do you know what? It's actually nuts being here because obviously I've seen this online a million and one times. But it's amazing. I've, it took two years to get you to I know. I, I just wanted you to get the place ready. And also, this is one of the first times, well, the first time in several years that you've had all your cars in one place. So I was waiting for that as well. I was waiting for you to get your act together and yeah, get it all sorted. Okay. Took you a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, we're just busy bees. You're always all over the place and I, I'm always saying I'm busy, so um, it's absolutely yeah. nuts to see it all. Well, we've got a nice mix of cars, haven't we? Obviously spoken about the cars, but... You've got your Aventi on, should I just I've say? Got my Aventi, yeah, we're rocking the Aventis today. Aventis are on. Let me, let me also focus on here. Uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. The Aventis are on today. Torby on, gang. Aventi family. Absolutely. So, I know you've seen some of the cars before. I like a mix of cars, so obviously you have a mix of some supercars, plenty of fun random things like the Clio V6, the 1M, I know you're into these kind of things that link back a little bit to yeah, how absolutely. Years and whatnot. GT500 for that American muscle, like ludicrous overpowered yeah. hilarity. We've got the wild pop art wrap on the Ford GT right This now. is cool, This because you only recently did this and I like the motive behind it. I like yeah. what you've done. You're doing something good. I think a lot of people didn't really understand this. So, Louette, the artist with Wycliffe Gallery, has basically put together these series of pieces called Hyper Pop, yeah. which are going to be auctioned later this year with Bonhams to raise funds, 50% of which will be going to Calm, yep. Pain Against Living Miserably, obviously supporting mental health. Yep. And it's not only that, but it's fun, it's different, it's a statement, it gets people talking. Yeah, right? Art absolutely. does that anyway. So, yep. for me, this is not, it's not permanent, obviously, it's a temporary thing. I think it looks amazing, I've had actually. I've for four and a half years now, I'll never sell it. I'm actually going to go on a bit of a tour with it like this. Amazing. I need to take it on another road trip just to go somewhere because... Excellent. And it'll get people talking and it will yeah. kind of spread the message as well. So now you've done a great thing with that. And I think it's... Uh, it's a bit crazy. You know, I'll ask everybody their really cool. opinions on how art should be done. Yeah. And, you know, how it works. But he wanted to look at it like multiple separate canvases. So, for example, the buttresses are a canvas. The roof is a canvas. The front end is a canvas. The doors are canvases. That's a separate All a little bit different. Yeah but paying some nods to the original red and gold colours as well. It's um, really, really cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's very You should keep nice. it like that. I, I, you never know how long it's going to stay on this. We'll see, we'll see. It's, it's PPF at the end of the day as well. Paint is completely protected by it at it's the same time. PPF and then wrapped on top of PPF. There we go. So you can't even harm the paint because there's a PPF layer between the wrap and the paint. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely. You've seen this before, right? You've seen this at Goodwood? I think last I... Year? I you must have seen it at Goodwood last year. I think I saw it. Was it there this year? It was in the supercar pallet last year, and it was just outside the supercar pallet this year. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Danish 1,360 horsepower silly mobile. It's very, very silly. How much use does this get? I've done nearly 2,000 miles. Have it, you? Which, okay, 2,000 miles in a year doesn't sound like a lot. No, but to me that does. Compared to what people drive in cars of this price range, yeah. it's way more than most people would. Yeah. Like, it's definitely top 5%. I'm yeah, sure. absolutely. I mean, 2,000 miles in that is is a lot, yeah. a lot, um, a lot. I'm just very, let's say, careful with the miles. I take it out for something I want to drive it for. Yeah. I'm not just going to go sit on the motorway for 200 miles. It's, it's stupid. No, and, um, and I'm actually quite refreshed hearing that from you. I think the rest of the stuff, you know, you will, you will just happily take around on a jolly. Yeah. Um, but I think you use this like I probably use my Carrera GT. You, ha you have to have a specific journey in mind for it. I mean, I did take it to the pet shop once, um, <laughs> but I'm sure I had an advert to put in no, for that. No, but, <laughs> yeah. Or several. I, I wouldn't mind if it was something I was actively thinking, hey, I want to do that with this car. Yeah. What I don't want to do is ever find myself just driving it when I need to go somewhere. No. Because you... it's not, it, it's too special for that. Yep. Um, you know, we've got the dailies, we currently run the Phones RS and the Amira. Casual, day. just some normal stuff. Some if dream I want cars an there. an exciting car to do tons of miles, my GT Black Series yeah. is the go to. This thing is, it's about two years old now, but it's spent eight months of that in transport and being repainted. Wow. And yet I've still, in a year and four months, done 25,000 miles. You've done 25,000 yeah. miles in that? Yeah. You animal. <laughs> Do you know what? I think AMGs though, they're so good. And that one excluded over there. AMGs are so good in that there's so much breadth of character in them. You can, even the most hardcore, ridiculous one they make, yeah. you can pretty Not much just daily it around but the place. The, the thing is, right, in this car, and this is what's so impressive, you know, when you've lived with, as we both have, Ferraris, McLarens, mm. all sorts of crazy cars, it's quite normal that stuff goes wrong. Yeah. 
I know it's weird. People think, hey, you spend all this money, it should never have a problem. Yeah. But it's actually the opposite way around because they're hand built and there aren't very many of them. Yeah. They're more like, and they're leading in technology. There are more likely to be issues. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. With a car like this, it was a Nurburgring lap record holder. Right. The GT Black Series was the fastest car in the world on the Nurburgring when it was launched. Yet I have done twenty-five thousand miles, tuned it up a hundred horsepower to eight hundred and fifty. It's done around twelve track days or so. It's wow. been in 40 degrees in the desert, it's been on snow, it's been to VMAX multiple times, and in the whole time, not one single warning light error. Really? Anything. Find me another supercar with anything like this performance that's that dependable. The only other one is probably something from Lamborghini because Volkswagen Group, but yeah. I prefer it's much more usable. I, I would still back the Merc to go wrong less. It's, it's amazing. It's an incredible, incredible car. Want, especially, you know, with videos, you know this. Yeah. If you're putting out content and you've got dependence, you need to churn, you're working with a partner, you need, you need yeah. to do something, you need your car to work. Yeah, absolutely. If you're somewhere a long way from home and your car doesn't work. You get one breakdown video, so you've, you've got one churn in the bag <laughs> there, yeah. but once you've said it's broken, I mean, you can do an update one, I guess, you know. Yeah, uh, it depends this, how broken it is. Yeah. And how much you need, but this thankfully. That's incredible. I had, I hadn't actually factored any of that in. I hadn't even taken into account any of that. That is. Really, really good. And you know, this is a car that was repainted as well, don't forget. Yeah. yeah. Completely in pieces, the whole thing. So it's been That's in pieces nuts. and put back together. Um, and I bet there's no squeaks, no rattles, nothing. nothing. Unreal. It's like, it's absolutely perfect. Mercedes. There was, there was one, there was one, and I didn't realize what it was when I'm driving, and I had wedged in like a business card up at the top of the windshield. Perfect. But I found what it was. It was a broken piece of plastic, which had been taken apart when I had had the windscreen changed earlier in its life. So oh. it wasn't anything to do with the respray or anything to do with oh. driving or anything to do with the car. It was because somebody had broken a clip when they changed the windscreen. Auto glass, you're under the bus there. Yeah. <laughs> or whoever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might want to pay us one day, so it wasn't that. The stupid pink Lambo, the troll machine, um, the Barbie car right now, pink and white. Oh, I enjoy that. And, and safe to say, this car annoys most people out of any car you've got. It really does. It, it's, it's a funny <laughs> one because it's my first Lambo. Yeah. I know you've had a few. You know how brash and in your face they are. Yep. And I, I definitely was like, well, if I'm buying a Lambo, I'm yeah. not going to hold back, right? You no. see Lambos in yellow and green and orange Course. and everything else. Let's go pink. It's the only car I'm ever going to order in pink. Perfect. It's not pink. Is it pink? Oh, I don't know. We'll let the let the audience engage with that. But yeah, it's pink. It's pink where the where the light hits it. It's yeah, it's really nice. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Then we've got um, Max Cooper's XJT20S, which is cool. It's kind of resident. Hope you're charging him proper money for that. No, no, no. I, I think it's cool <laughs> having it here. Like Max, was, will you be sent an invoice? I'll send you an invoice for that. <laughs> when I was younger, watching Gumball. Yeah. I watched Max on it driving this. Some of the most famous. It's ridiculous. It's videos. so cool. But then we've got over behind all the Lego slot cars, arcade machines, electric bike, scooter, heritage gas pumps, uh, empty oil drums. I should point out they're empty. I'm not storing fuel here. Empty insurance insurers. Companies. Yes, insurers. <laughs> <laughs> Talk um, me through what's going on here. I know the story of that, and I I do like the fact that you're sentimental about things. Obviously, I've got the E93 yeah. in my garage, and it's good to buy back things. Um, that remind you of your journey and the kind of part of your part of your kind of uh, your, um, your history. That's not my first ever car, but it's identical to my first ever car, and it's the same plate I actually had on my first ever car. So it feels like it's amazing. You, know, you get in it, and the smells and the things. Are the yeah, same, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same car. Um, that TDRT 350 belongs to Dub. It's the Dub Boys car. It's been I love these. Um, haven't uh, taken it out or anything from the whole time it's been here. I don't know how long they'll be keeping it with us. We shall see. I've recently picked up the 1M. Yes. I'm going to get a plate change before anybody asks about that. But um, they'll be frantically HPI checking it or something right now, yeah, won't they? Which, they always do that. They which, love it. Which um, which plate is going on it? But that's I can link back to my second car. So I have the Clio V6 as the link to my first car. Yep. My second car was a 123D coupe, and then those one two three Ds were chaos. When you gave them a stage one remap, you get like fifty break out of them and or like, something. It ridiculous. started with two hundred plus. It was two hundred and four horsepower. Yeah. From the. Uh, was it a two litre turbo four cylinder diesel? I don't know enough, but I know I wanted one. Uh, yeah, they were so much it, talk. It, it was good. I really hope I, mean, I was lucky, obviously, to have that and enjoyed it a lot. The original V8 Vantage, I'm sure at some point in time, you were probably driving around in your E93 and I was driving around in that. I think I, we, we did cross paths at one point when I was in my E93 Wait, and you were in 2011, that. 2011, 2012, some. Uh, long, yeah, 13 ago. maybe, yeah. Who knows at this ago, point? Too long ago. GT8 was then the final version. I love these. Really, really cool. Regret not buying one of them. KV6, amazing. I genuinely don't know how Renault approved making this. No. Like it, a lot of people don't realize what it is, right? You and I know. Mm. But for those that don't, 
There's no engine here. Nope. It's a hatchback and the engine is in the back. Yeah. Like mid-engine. It's like a mid-engine manual little super hot supercar hatch. hatch. Yeah. Super hatch car. <laughs> don't know what to call it. They're so cool. And obviously you've got the, the phase one and the phase two, or gen one, gen two, whatever it's called. And this yeah. is the this is the latter variant. Yeah, you're correct. This is so phase so phase. good. Really, really cool. I'd love to drive one of those. A lot of fun. SF90. Blue Electrico. Lovely. Um, triple air. Yeah, great great way to burn a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. How much was the paint? Uh, Tell the, the viewers. Paint wasn't, the paint itself wasn't too bad. I want to say 13. Yeah, you I can't get away bad. with saying not too bad 13 grand no, on paint. They could. I, I know, I know. They could. They I could know what you mean, but people will get you on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant the car itself. Yeah. Um, but I, I genuinely love it. I've driven 8,000 miles in that thing. I've had it for just over nice. a year. Nice. Brilliant car. Do you know what? I drove the 296 the other day and I, I put my hand on my heart and I said it's the best modern supercar I've ever driven. Mine is coming very soon. I know. I WhatsApped you exclaiming my excitement over it and you're like, oh, I've got two coming or whatever no, it was. <laughs> But very soon. Yeah. I haven't even said on my channel yet how soon. Oh God. I, I, a month it, or two. It's amazing. Honestly, it really <laughs> surprised me. And I actually thought the sound was quite similar to the Amira when it gets up through the revs, the, the V6 part of it. I, I in a good way. Yes, in a very good way. The 296 has one of the best sounding engines for a non V8 1012. I wanted to hate it. I got in saying, I'm going to hate this thing. I want to hate it. I'm going to pull it apart on my channel. And then I couldn't because it was so good. Anyway. This thing's a beast. You have an SLS? I do have an SLS. This is, I've got to say, my favorite car in your garage. Is it? It, it is, it is for a lot of people. It's one of my it. favorites as well. All SLSs are iconic. Doors, mm. NA engine, just big, bad European muscle. But the Black Series, just yeah. that width. That gives it's it just amazing. Numbers. Yeah. Absolutely I upset, amazing. I mean, you know how many people I upset when I resprayed that because it was originally a silver car. That oh. paint is unbelievable. Because I saw you respraying and I thought, oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and then you actually improved it. So I've, I fair play, it. silver That's wheels. Mega. It's so I nice. And and at the end of the day, I always said whenever when anybody complained about, oh, you know, you're respraying it, you'll kill the value. I'm like. Not the 20,000 miles I'm about to drive in it and all the, the track days and nerve overing laps and everything else. I think that's going to kill the value more than a respray. Where you are on that car though, there's not much you could do to it that would ruin, that put you upside down in it. If I wanted my money back, it would not be hard. No, no, absolutely not. And you do everything properly as well. You don't just modify yeah, stuff in a I shed. Think, everything you do, you do it properly. I so. think that's the thing. Like even the cars I've repainted or done big modifications to, like this runs the Rentec R1 package, but I have everything maintain service done by the book too yeah. much sometimes you question why you're spending so much yeah. like we were having some weird engine behavior and i spent about oh, i want to say it was fifteen thousand twenty thousand on wow. a complete rebuild doing everything replacing a load of parts making the car bulletproof because at the end yeah. of the day it's worth so much more money than it costs me yeah and it's very sensible it's so worth having it running properly yeah 100 percent. especially when it's had a hard life and i've driven it i've driven it hard like this car spent a lot of time at 200 miles an hour that's what it's designed to do, sort of, Absolutely. some of the time. <laughs> I, I think also as well, what people forget as well, when you run a platform like you do, every single thing you do to this car, and the others included, it's a video diary. When do you ever buy a used car that you have a video diary? And that's what I did my Carrera GT. I, I went and filmed everything out of that car because now that's an integral part of its history. Yeah. You've got a video diary of the service, the engine out, everything. And there's nothing on this car that you guys won't have seen. I can tell you an interesting story. I've never said this online. A car that I used to own without saying which, when I tried to sell it, I had probably three different people put down deposits and then withdrew their deposit when they realized it had been on the Nürburgring lap. You know, I'd mm. driven it on the Nürburgring and whatever. What they didn't know, and this is what I find so fascinating, is that prior to my ownership, the previous owner had modified the exhaust, had driven it on a massive road trip, had had the worst PPF job I've ever seen installed yep. on a car, had absolutely battered and bruised it, had probably never looked after or maintained it properly. Yet I tried to rectify all of that, but it's one of those that six months of ownership or whatever it was has been known, might not be the best, yeah. but isn't exactly bad, whereas they would rather not know about three years before where the car had been abused. That's exactly it's it. It's fascinating. It is fascinating human psyche. Last, but definitely not least. No, the car I've owned for the longest, 675 LT Spider. Do you know what? McLaren have always loved to push the boat out. You yep. know this. They yep. love to bring incredible technology, but it brings with it quality issues and struggles to make them all work properly. But the end of the first model, you know, 12C, 650, 675, yep. they basically had it dialed in. And these are about as good as any McLaren has ever been. This has had a couple of issues, mostly stupid things like paint, paint oxidizing, which means yeah. new panels and matching the colors, which has been a nightmare. But in terms of the car itself, 
It's performed brilliantly. We've had to have a battery change, but that's no big deal. No. Um, and I love driving it. Every time I take this out, I honestly say to myself, that's one of the best cars you can drive. I hear good things. And if I was going to go and buy a McLaren from this kind of five year era, it would be one of these, hands a down. A 675 LT Coupe for currently on the UK market, 210, 220,000 pounds wow. is a bargain. That seems cheap. I didn't realize they'd got that low. Like that car for that money is about as good a supercar as you can buy for the penny. Like, like. I didn't realize they were that low now. Obviously it's like. a lot of money, but what else can you get for 210? Not really a huge amount in that kind of sphere. Not that's that, like that, limited, really track focused, but still very usable. Cause these yeah. are super limited, aren't they? What is it? 500 Five? coupes, 500, 500 yeah. spiders. 500. There's 500 less 500. of the whole run than there are F40s, Crow GTs, all yeah. sorts of supposedly rare stuff. Yeah. That is a rare car. It's not a lot. What else no. do we have? F1 show car in our Halo Bay. I mean, this you place can, is absolutely ridiculous. You can turn on more lights, turn off lights. We've got this logo at the back, the uh, graphic there. There we go. The bull's horns, because this used to be a monkey parlor. Garage used to be full of cows, which if you're wondering is why we have our mascot. Segway. I'll leave the link below to go, well, you can't get them because they all sold out. They all sold out. There you can will go, be more, there will be more. Or you can go on eBay and pay overs because people are flipping them. Yeah, I've got, I've got one here. The gas pump. Well, we'll work out how to get that in. I might, I might steal that. Jail. Yeah. Break out of jail. Um, but no, this is really cool. I, I got this not knowing what it was. It was a racing simulator. Like it had a full electronic oh. filter. Um, and I thought it'd be a cool bit of garage memorabilia. But then we unwrapped it and realised that actually it was a Williams FW19 show car from '97, That's which really was Villeneuve's championship winning year. And it's got the chassis plaque number one inside it. So, oh, wow. so we went from like, what the hell is this? To actually, this is something really quite special. Oh, that's not going to focus. Um, I got repainted, re liveried. There are a few things that aren't hundred percent perfect, but I wanted to keep it on a fairly sensible budget. I could spend a hundred grand doing it perfectly right. Um, and it's, it's like every cool garage needs something like this. Even if it's just to sit in here and make V10 engines out. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, if there's a sequel to this episode, I'm going to make you do it. But uh, <laughs> no, that's super, super cool. I mean, it's yeah. just ridiculous. I'm getting inspo because I'm trying to build out a small kind of uh, little lair at my house. I've had architects in. We're going to start planning that. I'm just getting some inspo from what you've got here. Upstairs is super cool. Yes. Do you want to go upstairs? Should we go upstairs? The view from Why not? Let's go. And, is Mahmood here? He's somewhere up there. We've got all the, do some work. if I can, quick shout out and thanks to all the partners and sponsors. Of course you can, we love it, Chern. Um, everybody up here, you know, it's like a grandstand, right? Advertising board. C-Tech. Yep, every car is on a C-Tech. Works a lot with BOTB, Topaz, PPF, and all the cars. AMF, yep. and Ben Pack Auto Stacker. These guys will be great. Ben Pack, I'm coming from you. I want some stackers, <laughs> so uh, I'm coming for you guys. <laughs> um, pop upstairs. This is supposed to feel like a grandstand, so it's industrial by intent. No, it's but nice, it's like being at Silverstone or whatnot. Exactly, that was the idea behind it, not just like glass railings, because find me glass railings in a grandstand. Yep. Um, but we've got a bit of office space, we've got an amazing view. Do some work, you. <laughs> I've got three mortgages on a tracker, help me out, please. <laughs> That's not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really isn't. I'm glad you're smiling, because I'm not. <laughs> the view from up here. That, that G is tall. It is. You could almost jump from here I feel like if onto the roof. To here, we could do something stupid. No. I mean, that's no, a no. that's a TikTok. No. <laughs> that's short form nonsense. Does it have a sunroof? Uh, it does actually. Yeah, you could jump you through into it. Sunroof from up. <laughs> I mean, it's something, isn't it? I haven't actually seen the roof of it before. I don't think I've. Yeah, vaguely out of my window <laughs> once. <laughs> Blocks out the light in my downstairs uh, downstairs of my house. Into my uh, collectible swatch room. The, tip, the pitter patter of the tip, ticking of the clocks. Right, in the let's background. see if we can pick this up. Don't know if my mic's good enough to pick that up. This is absolutely nuts. I mean, you can spend all day. There's a story behind each and every one of these. Most of these are limited. I know that this section here is where they are um, boutique specific and yeah, location yeah. specific. So every single one of these watches you can only buy in the location in which they are bought. You can't buy them anywhere else in the world. Yeah. We've obviously got the whole Moon Swatch collection, including the one with the gold hand, which I'm never going to focus on and find the gold hand on there. You know how many nights and days we had to queue up to get all of these? I think <laughs> I, saw, I saw you queuing up for one of these. Yeah, back uh, probably at the beginning but you're anyway you're lucky you weren't murdered to be fair you did well there um this i think safe and saying that's probably the hardest one to that's get because that got discon 
discontinued. Barely I think very few. that one's the second hardest, potentially. Mm, maybe depends. maybe no, that one. The gold, the gold hand one. I mean, in terms of the original run, though, I think that was probably the, the second Mercury, hardest one. To get. Mercury Moon, yeah. I mean, I, I think I've got that one. I think I've got that one. And then there was another one I threw at my mood. I think it was that one. Yes, yes. I've seen him wearing the Uranus. Yep. Yeah, anyway, Smoke. swatches. I like those. James Bond Dirty one, collections, all sorts. Fun anyway, things. Colour colourful like all the cars, right? And then you've got a couple of the massive ones over on the wall over yeah, there. But all them ones put up. You see, I've got a couple. I've got like thirty of the massive ones. Oh, well, you've got lots of wall space. So that was the point. Better get going. <laughs> I just started hanging them. We got That's more to ridiculous. do. That's <laughs> uh, Well, it's an incredible space, and I really appreciate you showing me around like this Pleasure. and showing my viewers. Thank you so much. Pleasure. I appreciate thank you for that. By. No worries. Thank you guys. Anyway, for now then, thank you very much and a huge thank you to Shmi150, Tim, for allowing me to snoop around here and allowing this monstrosity in <laughs> the garage. Uh, there's going to be a video at some point, it's probably already on the channel, of him uh, reviewing that or doing something with it or maybe jumping in it from a balcony, but make sure you go and check out his <laughs> platforms. Um, loads of you do. Multiples more of you check out his platforms than mine, so I don't know why I'm bothering saying this, but thank you very much anyway. Do subscribe, click the link in the pinned comment, whatever advert it is this week, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.